Yo guys, JPR Tech here, and if you have ever had problems with your Fuji systems, out of focus, hunting, or doing like a little pose, even though you're shooting a uh, subject that is just standing still, it's, way, it's lit well, then I got a quick workaround for you to avoid that hunting and that pulsing that happens. And I have that happen to me when I'm shooting like flowers outside. Sometimes it's just, I wanna pinpoint at a petal or something, you know, like just a specific point. And at times it would just pulse a little bit or kind of like hunt. And in order to avoid that, there's actually a nice workaround for this. And the first thing you wanna do is actually, if you're shooting a, autofocus lens, you want to switch over to manual. And yes, doing this, you're going to have the best of both worlds. You're going to have manual focusing, so full control, no hunting and no pulsing. But yet, since you're shooting with a Fuji autofocus lens, you will be able to focus pinpoint sharp and not lose that focus. We do have a lot of ways to assist us into getting our focusing right using uh, peaking and zooming in or a combination of both like I have right here. But if you don't want to mess, you don't have time to mess around with the peaking and zooming in, a quick way to get focus and then leave it locked in is to have your touch screen set to touch AF. So and once you have your setting to touch AF, anything you touch, it will focus on, whether it's in the background and you can see the peaking actually kicking in. So it is focused on that lens. And then once you start recording, that's it. You don't have to worry about any hunting, any pulsing of the lens, nothing. It's just like you're manually focusing, but you didn't have to actually manual focus. That's the advantage of going this route. One big con and something to keep in mind that once you have your focus locked on and you start recording, you are not able to change your focus again. You still have the touch ability and move the little focusing area around, but it will not focus. You will have to do that manually again because we are shooting in manual focus. And it's still not bad. You know, manual focus is still the best way to do focus racking. But again, we're not talking about focus racking. We're not trying to follow a subject. This is just straight object photography. So your subject could be like, a, say, a landscape or a flower, and you really want to lock in there and don't want to lose the focus. You don't want to distract your audience with, you know, the, the lens pulsing back and forth a little bit. It's kind of like a heartbeat kind of thing then this is the best way to go. So that's it guys. If you guys enjoy this quick tutorial on how to get focusing manually, but at the same time still having the autofocus locked in, then this is the best way to do it. So if you guys enjoy this quick tutorial, this how to, I would really appreciate a thumbs up, smash that like button, share it so other people could learn how to take advantage of the different features of our Fujifilm cameras. Also, if you have any other comments, any questions, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Thumbnail.